and hello again YouTube TV here today I'm gonna present to you this beautiful thing right there my new beast so few words about this engine as you see it's W engine and this configuration I'm using to create it there are 16 pistons in all these three I don't know how to call those 16 pistons here, 16 pistons here and also here that makes about 48 pistons as you see here my ropes are quite big, quite long so the good thing about that is that my pistons are not going to fall to my crankshaft again my E2 is the crankshaft and because of this configuration that I'm using here it's roped here, then 45 degrees relative to that, and 45 degrees relative to that, and so on. And this by this, it's 90 degrees, and this by that here, it's 45 degrees. So for running my engine, I just need four timings, as you can see. 0, 45, 90 and 135 to 180 and this C2 actually runs quite fast and because of the width of the, this crankshaft relative to my previous engines I can get a lot of more torque than the previous ones for example my W4 this one that I know this thing can rotate about 8 tons, like a block here so to demonstrate this thing's actual power and beastness I'm go going to use this cube, this block VHX block so you can go and say, huh how are you gonna exactly test this power? So oh, there's a ball socket within this and that, which will make my block rotate relative to my engine. See? And actually, this thing weights a freaking astonishing 25 tons see right here 25 tons so how can you move those 25 tons let me just set the advanced input to something smaller so you can see the difference it's in frozen then start the engine up see it's already trying to rotate that this is the... Let me bring up the debugger for you to see what's happening. I've got a row of 141. And in each piston, as you see, force applied 13,000. Input of 269. 
module multiplier 3.25 for multiplier of 15 inside my E2 I've got another multiplier of 2 for that case here I've managed to make the bearing offset timings for each piston so as you see here it's for those three if I'm standing right here the left one is timing 2 the middle one is 1 and the right is 8 and the those timings 1 to 8 are the half of those 16 thrusters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and here on the left side I've got uh, by that same logic I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 1 I've got less timings because of the configuration of the pistons that I'm using so about moving this block you see it's already started to move by using a input of 134 so let's put a little more power then it runs that's very very deadly when it hits you see my engine is actually not struggling to rotate this and you see this power is quite astonishing It's very deadly if it hits you. If you touch this block, you will be dead in an instant. So, you say, huh, why do you need so much power? That's because of my trains. Sometimes I make long trains and I want to move them with engines. And this is pretty decent way to do so. So, guys, I hope you like my new engine. Have fun and see you next time.